Hey guys, it's Spy Cat, and I'm finally going to do my horror collection today. What the f... What is that? Sweeties, what was that? Minis, did you hear that? There it is again, Minis. What the hell is that? Sweeties, do you hear that? Did you hear that? Oh, sweeties, don't run away. Sweeties, we gotta find what the hell that was. I don't think one of my action figures is talking. That's not the sound Texas Chainsaw makes. That's Texas Chainsaw, too. It's not Tooth Fairy. It can't be all of these... Batman toys around. There's no way in hell it was Prince. Yeah, guys, I know. It's a gay... Pe he d j Just shut up, guys. What was that, sweetie? What, what was that? It can't be one of my Simpsons dolls. Smithers wouldn't make that noise. There it is, sweeties. Sweeties. Where are you going? We gotta find that, sweeties. What's going on? Minis! We keep hearing the sound. I don't know what the hell it is. I'm trying to do my horror collection. Everyone's waiting for the horror collection uh, video. We gotta find what the hell that was. Sweeties, you found it. I think this is it. But this isn't like noise activated, sweeties. And you're not scared of this one. I don't think it was that. I don't think it was that little one. Sweeties, come on. L leave Jason alone. That was the Jason Voorhees sound, though. But where's it coming from? Oh! That's, it was the big one, sweeties. Why are you so scared? Oh, we found out who it was. And that was officially the corniest freaking video I've probably ever done. I've done a lot. Anyway guys, this is my horror collection and I'm going to show you one by one everything that I got from A to Z. Because that's me. I was stupid too. It rhymed though. But let's get to it guys. Horror collection, my horror collection. Yeah, let's just do it. Alright guys, let's get to it. I did my Stephen King in another video. The only newer Stephen King movie that I got was this new version of uh, Stand By Me. Just because it's the, oh no, not that. It's the original cover, and the one that I had before was this newer cover. And I'm all about the original covers. So, uh, that's the newest one I got. That and Dreamcatcher. But, uh, here we go, guys. A to Z. Alright, guys, here we go. Let's see. Starting from A, guys, I got this accident movie. That's not really a horror movie, though, but it was Anchor Bay. I got it for cheap, and um, seems like some horror movie. It was in the horror movie section. I got After Midnight, um, old 80s movie. An American Haunting, great movie. Uh, great Exorcist type of weird, crazy movie. Um, I love this movie. I think he takes the land away from some witch and then the wish casts a spell on him and his family and then the daughter goes nuts and then she gets possessed it, it's nuts one of my favorites and like always guys i'm going to shout out if it's out of print uh shout out if it's like my favorite movie like that one was a great one i recommend another one i recommend is an american werewolf in london great movie from the 80s an american werewolf in paris the newer comedy one that came out in the 90s one of my favorites when i was a kid too in fact, all my horror movies are my favorite so far, except these two, because I haven't seen them. And, uh, let's keep going. I got the Anaconda movies. I saw this movie, like, twice in the theater when I was a kid. I also have the Super Bit version of it. Need to get Anacondas. I don't know what happened to my Anacondas Part 2, but I got Anacondas Part 3, Offspring. Arachnophobia, great movie. One of my favorites. The Birds, signed by the lady who, the actress of The Birds, really crazy. 
or signed by somebody. I don't know. I got really lucky at uh, this and got autographed by the uh, by Tippy. I guess that's the actor. Bats. I also got Bloody Mary, Urban Legend. You know, it's kind of corny. I need to get Darkness Falls again. I'm an idiot to sell that movie, but that's the that's the best one of my favorite witch movies. Urban Legend is all right. I like any movie about a witch or Bloody Mary in my collection. Brain Scan, out of print movie. Uh, Edward Furlong. This movie's worth some money. Great horror movie. Um, it's kind of a real trippy movie, though. I got Behind the Mask. Um, I love the cover on... Uh, be Whoa, almost dropped it. Caught it in the air, guys. But I got Behind the Mask just because this cover is cool. Um, the Rise of Les Leslie Vernon. Uh, Anchor Bay, great movie. I got Boogeyman, a collection of... Uh, the best, like, horror movie villains and killers. I got Cat People. Haven't watched that one yet. Got that for Sweeties. I got Chud. Or C-H-U-D, the one of the first Daniel Stern movies uh, there was. From the 80s. Shopping Mall. Old horror movie from the 80s, too. The Craft. Great movie. I love this when it came out. Croc. You know, just like Lake, Lake Placid, this one's a great one. Crubicle, another witch movie. Okay movie. Dawn of the Dead, director's cut. I got this movie for a buck in the dollar bin. Deep Rising, great movie. About kind of a creature and stuff. I kind of throw those movies in like my horror section. I don't know. They're not really adventure because I like having like true stuff in adventure that can really happen, so horror movies is kind of fiction. But uh, I got The Descent, great movie. I got Dragonfly, this is one of my favorite movies. His wife dies, it is a trippy movie, but she has a message for him. One of my favorite movies, great movie with Kevin Costner. Drag Me to Hell, great, another movie where a witch uh, puts a curse on this bank teller and they gives him hell, <laughs> the whole movie. Uh, what's this one? I haven't watched this one yet, but it's part of the Masters of Horrors. Um, Stuart Gordon, Dreams of a Witch House. I collect witch movies. Gonna kind of get a good pack going and sell those on eBay. A cool witch pack for someone who's into them. I'm kind of backing away from the horror movies, but, uh, I'm gonna show this collection off. And I'm probably gonna keep some, but not a lot. The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Great movie. The Last Exorcism, Believe in Him, great movie. Uh, the Faculty, old movie from the 90s, pretty good. With Usher, that was hit one of his first movies. I have, I used to have all the Final Destinations, I sold them. This was like in the dollar bin, so I bought it. Probably, eh, maybe, well, maybe I'll buy them if they're in the dollar bin. I'll get the rest of the collection like I used to have. The Forgotten, Juliana Moore. All the Friday the 13th, I love the original covers. I don't like the... I, I had the uh, set with the little discs of all the movies, but there's something about the original covers that a collector like me just has to have every one. Friday the 13th 3, and all these, I love them because they're the original covers, same as they were on the VHS. Friday the 13th, New Beginning, The New Blood... Jason Takes Manhattan, Friday the 13th, Killer Cut, the newest one, Jason Goes to Hell, uh, Jason Goes to Space, I need to get, but I got Friday vs. Jason, I got Frogs, out of print movie, cool little horror movie about killer frogs, The Dawn of the Dead, uh, Selma Hayek, Quentin Tarantino, George Clooney, great movie, Danny Trejo's in it too. From Hell, Johnny Depp. This was in the dollar bin. Haven't watched that one yet. The Grudge. Great movie when, when it came out when I was like uh, 19, 20 or something. The Happening. Pretty good movie. I like this movie. It's kind of a cool end of timesy, trippy, weird movie. Mark Wahlberg. The Haunting. I like this signature series because it has this signature. This is the first version when it came out of this. I don't think they released a second version after that. 
unless there's one on Blu-ray. The Hills Have Eyes, the original one, my favorite. And I like this one because it's the... They have two versions of this, and this is the... I think it's the double special edition. And then I have this other one that I sold. That's a better edition, better cover. Hostel Part 1, Director's Cut. I got the Halloween 3. I love this original co cover of the Halloween 3. I got the Halloween 1. OCD -ness has to put that in uh, order. If I Die Before I Wake, Artisan DVD, add a print. It Waits. Jack Frost, the original one, the one that's out of print. 12 bucks, steel. Jack Frost 2. I mean, now, these are like movies that are just so B, but the covers are just great. I really need to get Uncle Sam, but I can't find that one. Really need to get that one. That's a really cool cover of another B movie. Um, just the cover alone. Jeepers Creepers 1, great movie. Jeepers Creepers 2. And I try to have the best horror movies there possibly is in my collection. Um, let me know what I'm missing, what I could get, you know. But if I don't have them, I probably have them downloaded on my computer. Lake Placid 1, great movie. Bill Pullman, great movie. Lake Placid 2. Legion, saw that in theater. Pretty good. Tyrese. Um, another Masters of Horror, uh, Lucky McGee. McKee, sick girl. This is about like ticks or something, part of Anchor Bay. Looks like a kind of fun movie about killer ticks. Male violence. I just like the cover on that, and it was like in the dollar bin or something. Miner's Massacre. Haven't seen that one. Mosquito, 20th anniversary edition. Something about killer mosquitoes just scares the crap out of you. But but the but the um, filming on this is pretty crazy. I mean, it goes beyond... It's not even a B movie. It's like a C movie. Because, you know, obviously, I mean... You just look at the back and it's like, wow. Special effects looks like, you know, a five-year-old did it. Mother's Day. This movie... This movie pushes the rated R rating. And um, this movie is just really trashy. Like, I Spit on Your Grave is nothing compared to the crazy, like... I think it's like kind of same thing. It's like a weird rape scene, but they kind of go pretty intense on that movie. And I can only watch it once. I got the new daughter with Kevin Costner. I still like Dragonfly better than this movie, but I, I like that he kind of did another movie similar to Dragonfly. And he doesn't really do movies like that. But this is a good one, though. Neither Live and Dead. Out of print movie, this version, pretty cool. They redid Night of the Living Dead on this, but they just added color to it. The Ninth Gate, Johnny Depp, haven't watched that one yet. That's weird, he did um, The Ninth Gate, and he did From Hell. That's pretty trippy. That, you know, there's some secrets behind Johnny Depp. He's a, uh, he's crazy into some crazy crap. Oh yeah, that's what I just showed. Open Waters, got that for a dollar, 75 cents, red tag deal. The Order, Heath Ledger, I couldn't find myself to watch this yet, but you know, he's dead, so I kind of collect him. The People Under the Stairs, great movie. This movie went out of print for a while, and it was really hard to find, and they just re-released it on DVD, so really good movie, one of my favorites when I was a kid, V and Rhymes. You know, these kids run, get caught in this house, and everyone's, like, pretty weird. Pick Me Up. Premonition. Great movie, by the way. Prophecy. Christopher Walken. We all remember that one. Puppet. Curse of the Puppet Masters. I didn't really get into the Puppet Masters. This was, like, one ninety nine, so I had to get it. That's why I have this big collection. Pumpkinhead. I don't know where Python 1 is. I got Python 2. Python won somewhere because I was about to watch it, and uh, now I can't find it. Rabid Grannies, I got this just for the crazy cover, and I knew that this movie was out of print. Knew it was worth more than whatever I got it for, and that's why I have it. Not going to watch it, probably, but, you know, that's the collector in me. The Reaping, another 75-cent movie. This movie did really bad, even though it has 
Hilary Swank in it. And if you notice, not a lot of horror movies have like really known actors in it. Resident Evil, Super Big Collection, The Ring. Whew, that scared the crap out of me. The Ring 2. Rumple Stiltskin. This was one of my scores. It's out of print. Goes on eBay for a hundred bucks. I got it for seven ninety five at Rasputin. Really great movie. All these artists and titles have a lot of out of print stuff that goes out of print and it's worth money. Santa Slay with Bill Goldberg. Saw one. I love these additions to these two. The see through case. Saw three. Or no, I have two versions of Saw two. For some reason, I have that one. And these, and these were all like in the dollar bin, you know. Saw the final chapter. It's weird, they're good movies, but they're always like in the cheap bins for some reason. The Serpent and the Rainbow, West Craven. The Servant. Anchor Bay one that's out of print. The first one I forgot to say was out of print too, that's why I got it. Anchor Bay. The Seventh Sign, this one is out of print, just got, came out of print. Demi Moore, one of her first movies. Well forgotten about one. I got Shudder, Unrated Cut, Snow White, really creepy, trippy, like, horror version of Snow White. Sam Neill, Sigourney Weevil plays the witch. Sigourney Weaver, I mean. Liv Taylor, The Strangers, trippy freaking movie. They did a good job on that movie. I like that one. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning. This is uh, how the Texas Chainsaw Massacre begun. In 2003, with that version, um, they kind of... This is like right before that version, because the guy in the wheelchair... This movie shows how he got in the wheelchair and everything, so it's kind of cool. They did a good job on that. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, Leatherface. And I have a special edition of the uh, ones I don't have of the Texas Chainsaws. Three, Texas Chainsaw Next Generation, where everyone remembers the part when Matthew McConaughey, or when they're at the house and the guy just steps on the person's skull and you just hear it crunch. It's crazy. The Tooth Fairy, Troll 1 and 2, great movie, but they didn't keep the original cover to this. I think this, this was on the back of the cover, because this isn't the original, or no, this cover might be Troll 2, but Troll 1 is the one where it's just the big troll on the VHS tape. Village of the Damned. Dollar Bin movie. Vinion. Trippy movie. I got this in Berkeley, and it just looks really crazy. They go on this island, and these like kids are like evil, and maybe they eat people. I don't know. I haven't watched it yet. Wasp Woman. Old school movie. This got to be like from the 50s or 40s or... Let's see. Put out by Good Times. Doesn't say the date. It's an old one, though. Waxwork 1 and 2. Haven't watched that one. I don't even know why I got that. But, you know, it's probably cheap. What Lies Beneath, one of my favorites. Great movie with Harrison Ford and Michelle Pfeiffer. Most people don't wouldn't guess what happens at the end of this. I didn't. The Wicker Man, Nicolas Cage, Willard, great movie. I've watched this a ton of times. Some about animals getting revenge and humans, you know, controlling them to get revenge on people's great. The Witches, who when they take their masks off, I'm still scared. But this was my favorite when I was a kid. I loved it. Witchfinder General, um, out of print movie. About a uh, witch hunt, kind of trippy midnight movie collection. The Willies. I got this movie recently. It has Sean Ashton in it. And the cover just took me as a collector of horror movies. And the cover is just great. But it is the most horrible filming, as you could see. Witchboard. They had Witchboard 1, 2, 3, and 4 for a 4-pack for 7 bucks, but I just paid like 4 for this, so I didn't want to get that. And the way they film these are kind of bad, but maybe I'll get it. Probably not now, but... Witch, Wishcraft? I haven't watched this movie. It's like, um... I think they make some wishes. The back really looked trippy. You guys can pause and read it. Wishmaster 1 and 2, double pack, another out-of-print movie. These midnight movies are usually out-of-print, a lot of them. 
The X, the man with X, X-ray eyes. Haven't watched that one. Parents, good one with Randy Quaid. Well forgotten about. Needs to be watched, talked about. But I'm not going to talk about it because I don't remember it. Panic in the Year Zero. The Last Man on Earth. Double thing with uh, Vincent Price. Another midnight movie. Uh, What's the Matter with Helen? And uh, Whoever Slew Anti 2. Rue. You know, I haven't watched these, but I just collect them because they're out of print. And in here, guys, as you could see, hold on. I used to have my movies on top of this, but I, I'm just really being OCD and really anal about stuff. And that's just the way a collector like me has to organize. So pretty much the, um, you know, the snapback cases stick out a tiny bit more on the DVD thing. And it really looks weird. So I only have regular DVD cases in my collection. But anyway, guys, you know, I'm not going to look at all my snapback cases. I have a few that are off my head. The Mummy, great original cover. Love that cover. Them. And I love how the snapback cases were really good about doing these original covers. The artwork on these is just fantastic. And when you open it up, it's even better. Or actually not. It's not really better at all. It's just the cover that's better. Well, some of them are better inside. Um, let me think what else I got. But anyway, guys, you know, I have a couple movies in here. I have Cat's Eye, Poltergeist. Um, I can't really reach in there because it's really weird. I, I really had to stack these moving in here, but I got two versions of Poltergeist. Cat's Eye. Um... Is that the original, or is that the original? That's, you know... Who cares? Well, you guys do, because you're watching my stuff. But, uh, Dolores Claiborne, Stephen King. Night Flyer, Stephen King. I shouldn't even do my Stephen King, because I already did that. I have all the Exorcist movies, one, two. I know the others are somewhere. We all know about Gremlins, the new batch. Gremlins 1, I also have the special edition. Um... Really original cover right here. My favorite snapback. One of my favorite covers of all. I mean, the Gremlins cover is just great. Gothica. But anyway, guys, I put all my snapback cases here. I can, I'm can. i going to put my uh, cool sets on top of the thing behind me. Um, that's the new one I got. But I'm going to do these another day. There's some horror movies in there. Um, the Sixth Sense is in there. Let's see. I got uh, the Sixth Sense Cool Special Edition, part of the uh, Vista series, which was pretty much only that and Unbreakable. Um, but I like I like the box sets. You know what I mean? Hellboy. That was on my other video. I got the uh, Friday the third or no Nightmare on Elm Street uh, collection right here. Really good collection right here. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the 2003 one, the one that was before the new beginning or the beginning. Um, I got Near Earth, or no, what the hell am I talking? Near Dark. Uh, doing these videos just kind of takes a lot out of you. X-Men, Tremors, Man Who Fell From Earth, that's not really horror. But, uh, oh, I got the Night of the Living Dead. This version right here, guys. Night of the Living Dead. Cool, uh, out of print edition there. Worth a little bit of money. There's my other Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, toy right there. Um, hopefully I'll sell that eventually. See if I can make more money than I paid for. I got that thing at, uh, Tower Records. But I'm going to check over here, guys, and see uh, what I have going on. I got my music crap there, which is only a few. I'm an idiot. I sold the Prince DVDs I had that now are, like, worth 100 bucks. I was pretty stupid. But I just, I, I was like, I don't really want to have Prince at one time, and I sold them all. And now it's like, damn, why'd I do that? I have a bunch of Prince stuff, but, uh, 
those two DVDs that were worth like a hundred bucks, I sold like an idiot. Rave until the year 2000. Rave, hundred bucks on eBay. I sold it. Idiot. Stung, the ultimate buzzkill. Pretty good movie about Killer Wasp. Got that on Blu-ray. New movie. Let's see. Ghostbusters, I guess that's kind of a horror movie. Um, Silence of the Lambs, that's a thriller. I'll do my thriller movie. Dark Skies. That is a trippy movie uh, with Ethan Hawke, I think. But uh, great movie there. I know I'm missing a few guys, but um, I'll think of it probably and maybe mention it. Or let me, hold on. And the only thing I could think of that I might have missed, I mean, I'm sure I missed a lot in my snapback uh, cabinet that I just made to save space. I'm going to... I'm going to put these sets on top of here, but I just threw my toys on there and stuff, old Batman toys, for now, until I put all the cool stuff like that on. But this is the horror video, guys, so I'll go through my Stephen King collection just for the hell of it really fast. But there is a video on my Stephen King collection. Should be a couple videos back. Anyway, guys, I got Carrie, Children of the Corn, Linda Hamilton, Christine, great movie, favorite movie. All the Stephen King 80s, 90s, early 90s ones are my favorite. Creep Show, 2, Cujo, and most of these are out of print. Not this one, Double Disc Edition, 1408. Golden Years, out of print. It, they're remaking that movie. Have I watched this one? Stephen King's The Langoliers or something? Langoliers, however. Haven't watched that one, but it's in my collection. Maximum Overdrive, out of print, cool cover. Misery, favorite movie of all time. The Mist, Double Disc Edition, great movie. Needful Things, Ed Harris. Pet Cemetery 1, Pet Cemetery 2. Secret Window, Johnny Depp. Silver Bullet, I got that for the cover. And I also have the special new edition one. Sleepwalkers, about cats, sweetie's favorite. Sometimes They Come Back, I also have Sometimes They Come Back 2. On tape, Stand By Me, Stand By Me again, different cover, The Stand, Thinner, crazy witch, craziness goes on in that movie, witch curse, he curses the guy, he's all, gets all fat, can't stop eating, Tommy Knockers. Alright guys, that was the end of my horror collection, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, my horror collection, and um, the stupid funny skit in the beginning of the uh, show that I did. What can I do else? What else can I do? Oh, minis. Let's see if minis get scared. Minis, are you just hanging? That was funny. Everyone laughed when I blew that horn and you jumped up. That was pretty good, right, minis? Well, this is my Jason doll. Whoops. That didn't get you, baby. But, uh... That's my Jason doll. I remember I got this like 10 years ago. It's one of those things where you walk by it and it makes that sound. So it's like by, it has a sensor or something. But uh, Minis is known for kind of just sitting there through anything. Not like young sweeties. What is that, Minis? Yeah, see, you're not scared of Jason. How come sweeties is so scared of Jason? You don't even care, huh, Minis? Well, he's looking at you, Minis. Minis! Oh, you jumped a little bit. All right, sweeties. You love Jason. But you just don't like the sound. You're not scared of the doll. It's just when he does this. That's the show, guys. Hope you enjoyed my collection. And that's it. My next collection is going to be my adventure section, which I have my own big section on that. I love adventure movies. They're my favorite, you know, just escaping volcanoes, climbing cliffs and adventure crap, boats and ships and, you know, adventure stuff, guys. See you next time.